Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about the weekly contest 150 uh, third question. As far from land as possible. So we are given n times n grid and containing 0 or 1. So 0 representing water and 1 representing land. So our task is to um, determine like um, what what is the farthest distance from a water grid from a land. So let's say on the first example here um, we have 0 and 1 so as you can see this 0 is the farthest one from 1 um, based on Manhattan distance it will be the distance will be 2 like from this land the distance is 2 2 2 and 2 right from any of the 1 the distance to this 0 is 2 so we return 2 in that case and on the second example we have one land and the farthest 0 we can get is this one with distance of 4 1 2 3 4 right so yeah uh, we return 4 in that case and we have corner case let's say it doesn't have land and doesn't have water or doesn't have water then we return minus 1 means all of it is 1 or all of it is 0 then yeah we return minus 1 in that case so we can solve this problem by using uh, BFS so um, we add all of the one to our list of BFS to be started and then we initialize all value as max value except the land will be zero so they will iterate through to their next grid like their neighbor let's say this is zero the neighbor will be one the neighbor will be one and then we add those two also into the grid also for every other so it will be one right and then from those grid being added in they will also try to explore other grid so one plus one this one will be two so after we finish we loop through all the grid and we will know like two is the greatest distance from all land um, yeah so it's the same for second example um, one as uh, zero one one two 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 three three and four so how are we going to solve this question? Um, I just create a point of x, y. Um, the equals and has code doesn't need it, but I'm using IDE to generate it. So yeah, it's there. And then after that, we just need to calculate the max distance. As I say, I explained before, the, we create a cost grid um, of max value for all the grid. And then we loop through the grid itself to initialize the cost because it's initially max value but once we met a land the cost of those land will be zero and we add the that land position to our list for doing the BFS later on and then we also need to check um, if we don't have any land which means open list is zero we return minus one or if all of our grid is a land means um, grid width times grid height is equals to our list then that means no water exists we also return minus one and then we perform our DF bfs so to make the code easier um, i initialize um, array to two dimensional array called direction to represent um, right left down and up right so yeah first we pull from the our queue as a that um, a point and then we will check through all the neighbor by looping through the direction so yeah we have the next x and next y we validate this this for con first condition is just to validate like make sure they are not out of bounds and then the last condition here is to make sure like um, the cost we are going to add it in is actually less than the cost we have in the in that grid so why this is necessary so we take a look from the example so this grid here this this zero if we cal calculate from this one the distance will be three right one two three but actually coming from here it will be one so one and three um the this the minimum distance from the land is one so this is one and this is three so we don't want the three we just want the one right so that's why we need to make sure like um, the cost the cost we have on that grid 
is less than the cost we are going to give then we can replace it to that cost make sure it's the smallest cost means it's the nearest land um, distance and if it's valid we add that that position also to our open list to perform the next BFS so once we finish all of our BFS here then we will end up um, finishing our cost so what will it look like is something like this so I uncomment the system or print so as you can see from the example um, the distance will be 0 1 1 1 1 and here is 2 right and let's try the second example um, the BFS will give uh, this one 0 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 and 4 right so after that we, we basically just need to loop through the entire grid again and make sure the we take the maximum value like 4 is the farthest distance so we take the 4 on those yeah so yeah that's it for this question and thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest